How's it going guys, my name is Mike. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can record a voiceover for any video or keynote presentation within iMovie. You will need a microphone. Now, most laptops do come with them installed. However, if you've got an external one, one that you can plug into your computer, I would fully recommend using this. As long as iMovie recognizes it when you plug into your computer, you should be good to go. All right, so in the timeline, I've actually just, for this video, added a black solid, and we're gonna to come to the bottom left of our video preview, and there is the record voiceover button. And once you click that, you can see that we get our record button and also the settings will pop up. So uh, if I click on the settings, let's check them out. They're actually very minimalist and quite straightforward. Pretty foolproof, really. The first one is our input source. This is basically where you can select your microphone. For this video, I just used my MacBook Pro microphone, but uh, I would honestly recommend using a plug-in one. You'll get some, such better quality um, but yeah, just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to select my MacBook Pro microphone. Then you're going to have a look at the volume. To be quite honest with you, I do like to leave mine around 50%. I like this to be something that I can adjust after I've filmed it. Um, you can obviously tweak this if you've got time for a couple of run-throughs, but it is definitely something that I like to keep sort of in the middle, and then I can adjust it up or down. And the mute project button basically allows you to either choose whether you want to hear the other audio in your project or if you want to mute it whilst you're doing the voiceover. Once you're ready to record, you're just going to click the red button and it'll count you in. By the way, if you are looking to license that killer track for your video, then check out Licked. Licked is a chart music licensing platform that allows you to use popular music in your videos claims free. Check out the link in the description to get discounts on your first track. All right, back in iMovie, let's listen back to what we've just recorded. Welcome to my tutorial. I will be today showing you how to record voiceover in iMovie. Excellent. So once we've done this, we're going to start thinking about the actual volume of our voiceover. And we can adjust this ourselves by essentially highlighting the, the voiceover track. And then where you've got the video preview screen, if you click the speaker in the very center, you'll bring up the volume settings and you've got the percentage there. You can adjust that manually. It's very straightforward. Just pay attention to the waveform at the bottom. Don't let it hit red. And if you're feeling particularly lazy and you just want iMovie to do it for you, then just hit auto. If you've got a number of clips that you want to be roughly the same volume, you can just hit auto on them all and it'll roughly even them all out. Say you've got a little bit of background noise, which I do. You can come across to the icon just to the right of the volume, uh, and it'll bring you up to the reduce background noise section. It's a very simple effect, but you can listen to what it does here it's now. My tutorial, I will be today. It's not always my favorite thing as it can sort of reduce the quality of your audio, but it's there as an option for if you need it. Uh, you can adjust the actual percentage of how much background noise gets taken out. Sometimes this is a nice thing to do because you don't always want it to be as intense. So yeah, just select the background noise reduction button and then adjust that. You can also play around with the equalization, the bass, the treble. And uh, to be honest with you, I just leave that on the default normally. But just to show you what it does, if you click bass boost, Showing and let's you listen. how to record voiceover in iMovie. Just adds a lot of depth to your audio. So you can have a play around and see what works for you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget that you can subscribe to this channel if you want more tutorial content like this. And if you are looking for that killer track for your next video, then check out Licked. You can license any of the songs from today's video, plus many more popular songs on Licked, so check that out.